Hello. So the wife decided to make some portobello stuffed mushrooms. So that's the inside of a couple of mushrooms. There's a few more mushrooms. Okay, what are you doing, wife? Okay, so all I'm going to do is take out this part. I want to show a little trick because sometimes when I've made these in the past, I scooped out way too much. But when you take this out, a lot of people want to get rid of it. I don't. I keep all the stems in pieces, but I've already cleaned these with a paper towel. I do not put them in the sink and run water over them because uh, mushrooms already have a lot of moisture. No. So, <laughs> the other thing I like to do is put a rack on the bottom because that juice you can use later if you have other things that you want to make like pasta. So I'm getting those prepared. I'm going to just chop this up. I've got garlic, onion, and then I'm using sausage that I've already drained over here. I'm also using bacon. Oh, look, I'm we, using... we've got bacon, look. <laughs> look. Everything's better with bacon. What? Um, what's in this? What's in this? This bowl? is just cream cheese. It's one and a half packets. I'm going to put in Parmesan. I'm also going to put in some breadcrumbs eventually. Um, thyme, a little bit of nutmeg, nutmeg at the very end, and about one tablespoon of Worcestershire. So I'll show you how that comes together. Okay. Would you want to? Just a quick one while we're looking at the breadboard. I made this breadboard. Oh, Isn't it nice? Look at that. Anyway, back to the portobello mushrooms. Okay, so the wife fired everything in this here pan. So what you got in this pan? Okay, so we have garlic, clove. I've got three of them uh, fresh. I've got some bacon that's rendering down here. I've added some onion as well. And the inside for the mushrooms, obviously. But they're clean. So I, I think a lot of people try to uh, throw that out because they're afraid to use it. But actually, that's a really, really great part of the meat of a mushroom. Don't waste food, people. <laughs> so when you're putting the sausage meat in? Sausage is already done. Are you not mixing it in? Not yet. Okay. I will with the cream cheese mixture. I will also add breadcrumbs and show you how that comes together. All right, so we're back with the... Uh, Integral part of filling the mushrooms with stuff. So she's mixed everything in one bowl, look. It's all gone in there. And then look, scooping it all in. So you've got the sausage, you've got bacon, you've got the cream cheese. I also added one egg and mixed that in as well. That's I'm going to cover these as well with, uh, and I added about a third of a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. I like to stack, stack them like this because this should be a meal in and of itself. And when you make them properly, they will come out. Even if you can't eat all of this, you think mushrooms, how can it? My husband doesn't have to worry about this. He can eat all of that. Me, I'm going to be good with this. Maybe a little salad on the side. The thing is, though, they reheat very well, believe it or not. So we're going to let this do its thing. And the, how long do you bake them for? We've got the oven at 375. I'm going to check them in about 30 minutes. They typically take up to 40. And these are kind of big mushrooms, so we'll see. We'll be back when they're ready to eat because I'm starving. All right, so here we are. They're out the oven on the plate with some rice. Look at them. I'm going to tuck into these, and these are going to taste awesome. Oh, pretty good. Easy to make. Don't take long. Pretty good. Thanks for watching. And enjoy.